Hello dear friends, welcome to another video of the Never Do Through the GUI, what you can do through the CLI channel. I am Vangelis and today we will be exploring Web API benchmarking JavaScript BAN vs Rust Actix Web. In case you don't know what BAN is, it is a new JavaScript runtime and there has been some talk online on, on various social platforms etc about it and about its speed and how efficient it is etc etc and uh, I wanted to test it myself I know I suppose better because I haven't run any benchmarks I suppose that it will be far less uh, efficient compared to Rust but since it is let's say a hot topic I decided to create this benchmark too before we get into the actual benchmark let me show you the the api this is the actual api that ban runs so as you can see it is a very simple one we have uh, this is the only code that we are running we don't have any framework overhead so yeah if we come here as you can see i have uh, both apis running up and ready this is the ban api if, if we check we are getting 1000 users this is the Rust API. Again, we are getting 1000 users, so we are ready to start testing. So let me get. We will start testing with OHA, the BAN uh, API. Uh, the command that we will run is this uh, we will run 100,000 requests. These are the flags. Let me prepare the system monitor. Yes. <clears throat> and let's go so as you can see the resources are not fully utilized and this is expected because we are not running a multi-threaded runtime I have no idea uh, 200 uh, megabytes of memory used not too bad but the CPU as you can see is not utilized so we are not utilizing all our resources uh, I have no idea if it can uh, if this runtime has let's say multi-core um, uh, settings that we can you can run it uh, in multiple cores uh, or multi multiple threads etc I have no idea this is the very simple API example that I managed to put together and we will test with this for now and I think we are ready for uh, Rust so let me get <coughs> the Rust command so we have the same command uh, 100,000 requests same uh, same flags system monitor go CPU 66 memory 22 rust is already done and this is the curve for the CPU utilization let's let's compare 54 seconds for ban 4.6 seconds for rust slowest fastest average uh, request per second 1832 21300 size per second 163 megabytes 2.12 gigabytes and these are the latency distribu distribution and response time distribution as you can see uh, Rust is better of course but the, the issue uh, the fact that Rust would be better was obvious at least to me but uh, what is important is the orders of magnitude of difference here as you can see for us we have 4.6 seconds and for BAN we have 54.5 seconds so huge difference so let me get this uh, so if you want to have uh, to scale 
or you have a critical application I don't know if ban is the correct solution to your problem okay let's move to the second benchmark which will be the WRK benchmark so let's come here uh, we will uh, run uh, WRK for 30 seconds here as you can see here we just warm up the system again and we run this so let me get the system monitor here again go this is a curl request just to make sure that we get the data Again, the CPU is very low, the memory is approximately the same, about 200 megabytes. Too hot here, okay, we are done. Let's go for Rust. Uh, same requests, uh, same amount of time, 30 seconds. Let's go to our system monitor, execute. So you see the curves, uh, all of our cores are utilized to a certain extent. And the memory is 122 so more memory than uh, the OHA test but still a lot less than the BAN JavaScript runtime let's compare uh, request per second 337 1.757k average 50 56,000 requests, 56,000 to 89,10. So you see the difference 56,300 to 180,910 requests. And the difference in the gigabyte transferred. Request per second. 1.8000, 9000.3 and again you see the difference in the data transferred L yeah so as you can see we have huge differences here too uh, as I said I was expecting a difference and a big difference and indeed this is what we get from the benchmark and so we have let's say a mental model about what uh, the band framework or runtime can do for us but again it seems that when we have a mission critical application when we want to scale and when we want our um, resources to be utilized in the best let's say possible way uh, between these two options rust is the way to go i suppose uh, I will have all the data in the video description for you to be able to check them for in the future. And uh, this is essentially the whole video. So thank you for watching and have a great day.